Hi everyone. Now on our journey through the world of optics, we're going to talk through some specialty areas in the manufacturing process called finishing and coating. Both of these processes use high-end equipment, some of which that was manufactured in Rochester. First, we're going to start off learning more about finishing. Finishing in the context of what we do here at Optimax is when we make an optic, there is the general polishing step, which takes care of 90% of the work, 95 even. That last 5% though is very difficult to do within that system. Finishing here uses some fairly advanced machinery that's made here locally in Rochester actually to take care of that final detail work. It's the sort of last, final, precise, very small scale but very important deal in regards to making the optic. MRF stands for magnetorheological fluid. It is the fluid that is cycled within the machine that is actually used on the surface of the part. We measure the, the lenses ahead of time and we see that there are various highs and lows on the surface. And what the machine does is it will very selectively move the lens through the MRF fluid to wear down those highs to be even with the lows, such that when the machine is done with its work, everything should be very uniform and level and exactly what our customers are looking for. Next, we'll connect with Jaden, who will help explain the coating process. Coatings in the optics world, it's a multi-layer stack of different materials that are applied to the surface of the optic. And with that coating, you can actually change how light reflects and transmits off of the surface so it impacts the spectral performance. With our optical coatings, you can change what the glass does spectrally. So we do anti-reflective coatings that reduce the reflectance of that surface. We do mirrors, which reflect. So how we coat an optic, we have coating chambers that are really specialized, huge machines in the department. The way that we do that, we have the optics inside, we pump down the chamber to really low pressures. We also heat up the chamber. So internally, you're looking at about 300 degrees Celsius. So incredibly hot. Then what we do is we actually deposit materials using an electron gun. It arcs using magnets onto the material and it just evaporates it. That material comes up as a plume and then coats the optics above. So what we'll do is we'll repeat that process layer by layer until we complete our coating and then we'll cool down the chamber. Thank you for joining me to learn more about finishing and coating and how they complete the optical manufacturing process. Up next, we'll learn more about the applications our optics go into and some are even as cool as outer space.